Yo, what is going on everybody? Happy Wednesday. Brendan coming at you live from Chicago. We are Atlas Stationers. We've got another fantastic virtual takeover happening right now. So we hope you all have been doing well. We can't wait to jump into our agenda for the day. So this event going on is really special because it's going to be custom pens today, not mass distributed or mass manufactured. So we're really excited to uh, bring on and collaborate with the guys over at the Chicago Pen Company to bring this event to you. So real quick, we've got new product to show as well as kind of go over the thoughts behind making these custom pens. So I'm gonna wait for them to join. Um, we are gonna be playing trivia today. We are obviously gonna be offering a huge promotion. So you can go to our website, the Chicago Pen Company pens are uploaded at atlasstationers.com and you can actually use the Black Friday code BF15 to get 15% off all the Chicago Pen Company pens today. So make sure you take advantage. Keep in mind, before we do start, I wanna let you know a lot of these pens are one-offs. So what you're seeing today, uh, we'll make it abundantly clear if that's the only one of its kind. Nib choices vary on our website. We're only showing, like if we only have one model available, we're only showing it available in one nib, but there is a little note in the item description saying that you can choose which nib uh, you prefer. So without further ado, I'm going to bring on Jim and AJ and we're gonna jump right into it. One second. Most of the higher I'm super excited, you guys. This is always a big event. That one is... Jim, how you doing, my man? I'm good. How about yourself? Yeah, doing well. Can you hear me okay? I can, and can you hear us? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Wow, man. Long time no see. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I know. Yeah. This uh, COVID thing has got us all just hunkered down, right? It's crazy, man. But, you know, hopefully we're closer to the end than we were to the beginning. So, uh, Jim, thank you for joining us today. AJ, if you're in the room, too, thank you. Um, yeah, AJ is, uh, AJ is schooling. Oh, he's schooling. Okay, good stuff. Good. Yeah. That's, that's most important, education first. I respect it. I respect it. So, yeah. uh, Jim, we have a pretty packed day for your event. Uh, I know we were speaking uh, earlier today and yesterday. We've got an abundance of news for you in terms of new products, special releases, uh, new series, and things like that. And when you told me you wanted to play trivia today, I was like, yeah, <laughs> trivia. I know the, the listeners love it, man. So it'll be really exciting to jump back into that. Uh, but before we show your product, do you mind giving a small introduction about who you are, uh, the pen company, kind of what you guys do? Sure. So we are the Chicago Pen Company. It's uh, it's actually AJ's company, and I'm sponsoring him, right? Um, this this company came about because of AJ's and my love for fountain pens, but I mean mainly AJ's. Mm -hmm. uh, he came to me and said, "Hey, can we start a pen company?" And I thought he was a little crazy, but you know, this has been a blast. Um, we started out. I think the first the first uh, pens we carried were those that were offered by luxury brands. Mm -hmm. Then from there, we sat down and we started designing our own pens. So then we brought in our own pen line. And then uh, after that, we started doing collaborations. And that's what, the, the reason we started the collaborations was we, we were looking at a way where we could work with all of these wonderful pen artists mm -hmm. and put it under a single umbrella. And so the first, the first time we did that was with the, uh, the Birds of the World series. Mm -hmm. We came out with a couple of those. In fact, today we're going to be announcing the third bird of the world. Yeah, it's a big um, one too. We have two more in the wing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's beautiful. And then, um, and then from there, uh, it just, like our ne next, the natural progression, we started uh, talking to different pen artists and we decided to do a, an artisan series of pens. Sure. So this will be another umbrella where we can work with uh, various pen artists and offer a pen from that artist. Mm -hmm. That's going to be, that's another thing that we'll be introducing today. Absolutely. Yes. A lot going on. Oh my goodness. So, yeah. uh, you know, I, I really respect what you guys do. I know the community does as well. You guys are, are gaining quick reputation. So your reputation is gaining quickly in, in the pen industry. So it's really good stuff here. Uh, before we show the product, what inspires you guys, both of you, in terms of what you want to release, what type of design, color scheme, how do you name the products? 
you know, maybe what yeah. started the Birds of the World series, kind of just in general, what, what's the overall concept behind what you choose to do? Right. Okay, well, you know, like, uh, to start with our path, our, our design, mm -hmm. we sat down and we, we were looking at what's out there. And we said, everything kind of looks the same. Can we do something different, right? And so uh, that's where we, is that my phone with the, that, that's where we decided to come up with the Shiva, our first design. And the Shiva pen, uh, what we did is we put some curves in it, gave it a little pinch on the cap. Mm -hmm. And a, the, the, uh, the top of the cap, yes, that's it. The top is actually a diamond. If you were to follow the angles down on the side, it would, it would be that of a diamond. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we put on top of it. And it made a really great gripping point to pull it out of a pen sleeve. So... So that's, you know, so, so that's where we were thinking. And then we introduced that and, and people were asking us, well, can you, can you give us something bigger? They felt that the pen was just a little bit small. You know, it's, it's probably a medium sized pen. Sure. And so that's when we came out with our Kingpin. And so the Kingpin, yes, that's it, is a very robust pen. Um, and we, again, like the, the, the top matches the top of the Shiva, but it doesn't, it doesn't, come in until down lower in the cap mm -hmm. where that band is yeah and so again you know something just a little bit different something with uh, uh some a little design element and so we're that's that's really what we're trying to do is just be different Absolutely. we have a third design that works that we'll probably introduce in the next year um we're really excited about it it's something completely not to keep using the word different but completely different yeah right in, in that um, we're, we're trying to, I don't want to say too much about it, uh, but, but it's going to be cool. You're, you'll see. Right? Absolutely. So it, it's, it's so, real cool because you're freshening up the design of pens. You're bringing different characteristics and different components. You're conveying different thoughts and actually incorporating them into your designs, making them unique. So it's real refreshing to see product like this. Uh, it's, and, it's art, if you will, you know? What, what makes it even more exciting to us is that we've actually seen some of like our, our little nuances getting incorporated into other pen designs. Exactly. So that's, that's really exciting. It's like, hey, we've, we've, we're actually onto something. You know, people like what we're doing. Hey, I know you that's know? a great feeling. So, you know, I, I always yeah. imagine, do people like my face? I always thought no, but I guess some do. So I know the feeling. Yeah. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. So, uh, yeah. the video? so then we went in, you know, the Birds of the World series we just yeah. went into, was kind of a, how can we get more color involved? You know, we wanted to, a palette to be able to follow. And we wanted to work with artists and have an umbrella where people could collect from various art pen artists, mm -hmm. but it would all be under the same theme. Yeah. And that's why we came out with the birds of the world. Yeah. No, and it, it, this whole series is great. So, I mean, it's, it's real nice. You're getting everything under one roof. So uh, I think you're doing the, the community uh, a big service here. Uh, Jim, <laughs> let's, let's actually jump in. Let's, let's kind of, you know, go off our agenda. Uh, we yep. really appreciate you giving kind of the backstory, kind of how you incorporate your thoughts into your products. Uh, real quick, I do want to make the, the audience clear about is you can put anything in the chat, any questions, comments, concerns. We will try to address them periodically as we follow through the video. Uh, we will be playing trivia here and there, so you have to stay tuned. It's not all coming at the end. It's going to be randomly split up during the entire video. Right. We've got a lot of great prizes, compliments of AJ and Jim at the Chicago Pen Company. Well, let's jump in first. We both posted okay. the photo of the, the new Macaw. It's been getting so much great responses. There's so many great responses. It's honestly, it's a beautiful piece. So I know you have it today. I don't have the honor of it, but I'd love to see it if you don't mind. So what's up with the Macaw? It's the third bird of the world series. Just, let's talk about it. It's the third birds of the world series. Um, I guess I should probably put it on camera. My cameraman is uh, at schooling. <laughs> <laughs> Just look so at there it. Is. These, these are made by Jim Hines of Hines Pen Company. He is the person we collaborated with on these. Um, they came out just beautiful. Mm -hmm. We went to Jim. We asked him if he would, if he would do a collaboration. Uh, we said, he's like, oh, yeah, you know, I'd be interested. And so uh, we said, well, you know, we really love the – 
I don't know if you if you guys are familiar with Heinz Pen Company, but his pens, the colors and all, they're always so vibrant. Mm -hmm. they're, they're just beautiful pens. And so we decided that we were going to, to do a, a, a macaw with him. <laughs> and, uh, and so normally what we do is we supply the material to the pen maker. So we find someone to make the material for us. In the past, it's been um, Dan Kobler from Provincial Mills. And, uh, and so we said, you know, this time we, we were thinking that maybe uh, Jim could create it. Mm -hmm. So Jim reached out to his uh, resident resin maker, or material maker, uh, Elise of Starry Night Resins. And uh, she's the one that actually poured this, this material. And I, I mean, I can't, the, the pictures just don't do it justice. It, it came out wonderful. Um, yeah, the coloration, the, the variation amongst the different pens. I mean, it's just such a delight to look at. Yeah. So, <laughs> so this is the material. And, uh, and Jim is known for his colored clips and nibs. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure if the camera is picking this up. But it's a, um, an orange clip. Wow. And then the nib matches the clip color so we also have and wow can you see it that's hard saucy my man that is saucy oh and of course you know th these are our nibs they're Bach number six nib okay um with our logo on so wow. and uh and jim has a real nice uh cap medallion with his his logo on that incredible so, these particular ones are the artist proofs, making sure that everything looked good before we go into production. Mm -hmm. um, it should be known that, uh, well, first of all, all the pens will have their numbers engraved. So it'll be one of 20, two of 20. It's limited to an addition of 20 pens. Jim makes all of his pens by hand. So each one of these pens is, he is the one that made them by hand. He touches each one. He tunes the, the nibs on each one. He makes sure that everything is good before they go out the door of his shop. So it's, great, it's just great a fantastic control, job. And it's coming from an actual pen maker, not any type of, you know, manufactured, like automated process. It's really personal in terms of the, yes. the process of making these. And, you know, it's rare to see that nowadays. That is incredible. So, yeah, like you stated, so... This series, you'll make 20 of them in total. And when can we expect them to hit the market? Do you know? So we expect expect them to uh, be ready to go mid-December. Okay. That should be in time for Christmas. Perfect. And, um, you know, it will it will come in its bird's, bird's nest box. Uh, those boxes are being made by the printer right now. I have an example from our Bluebird pen, what it will look like. Um, yeah, so the, the McCall pictures will be on the outside of the box, and then inside will be a bird's nest with, and it won't, it, it'll be a different pen sleeve, right? And of course, a different pen here. <laughs> <laughs> when you open it, you'll see the McCall pen in the box with its pen sleeve. Yeah, beautiful Just presentation. Like beautiful. Thank so you. So I, I want to make it clear real quick. Uh, you know, we don't have these here at Atlas. We are going to be getting a very select amount from the Chicago Pen Company. We have the item listed on our website. Uh, Jim, two twenty-five, correct? Is the retail? That's correct. Yes. Okay. So we will be running them at two twenty-five. We are not taking pre-orders yet, but you can message us to get on the pre-order list. This is going to be incredibly limited. So if you are interested, you have to reach out to us to save a place in line. Just want to throw that out there. We're gonna be just do it in order. So, you know, the first five people that reach out to us, those will be the first five that will get it or whatever our inventory will look like. Uh, Jim, fantastic stuff, man. Really, really good work here. Uh, you know, shout out to Heinz Pen Company as well. Absolutely nailed it. Uh, how long does a project like this take in terms of oh. of the design, you know? <laughs> 
collaborating, yeah. the material? What is the general timeline on something like this? So I think it usually takes us around three to four months to, to get a bird off the ground. <laughs> I like it. I like that. <laughs> but, um, you know, we've, uh, it, it really depends on the pen artist, mm -hmm. right? Um, and, and we're also at the mercy of the person making the materials. So there's a, there's a lot, you know, we've got to go through these different steps. Yeah, yeah. We, we've actually got them. You collaborating with the artists over there, shipping the material over there back to Chicago. It's a lot of yep. work, man, a lot of work. But it just, it's so worth it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, the, it, we have a blast with it, you know. And uh, we love, we're fanboys. We, we admit it all the time. We're just fountain pen geeks. And we love working with these artists. We love, you know, having that, that relationship with them mm -hmm. and being able to bring their, their art to the masses, you know, through our company. Absolutely. So it, it's, just, it's just so much fun. Absolutely. And then, um, uh, so I saw a couple of questions in here. Uh, someone asked uh, if the number you get is luck of the draw. Um, I'm afraid it is. It is it's... Uh, I'm just trying to think. We can, you know, we could probably reserve like numbers uh, two through six for Atlas Stationery, mm -hmm. right? For your pre-order, we'll reserve numbers two through six. Perfect. So we'll do mm -hmm. our best to. If you tell us which number you're looking for, we'll do our best to make it happen. Okay. The rest of them, numbers seven through twenty, um, it's going to be however we get whatever order we get the orders in from our website, okay? Um, someone asked if they can pre-purchase them. Uh, that, the answer is yes. You can DM Atlas Stationers. Mm -hmm. You can also pre-purchase them on our website. And um, let's see. What bird comes next? Is that a secret? Ah, yeah. We're, we're having a race right now. Good. <laughs> it's Good. so much fun. <laughs> so Good. we have two birds in the works. Uh, we have a hummingbird coming and also a goldfinch. Now, we have um, – we've teased those two on our Instagram stream recently. Mm -hmm. So you can get a look at the material and you can get a look at um, – if, if, if you read the comments and whatnot, you might even be able to determine who's making which pen. Wow. <laughs> wow. We and then love a little treasure hunt. Yeah, and then um, for the for June we have targeted to release the Cardinal that we're partnering with Grifos on. Wow. Now that pen was supposed to be released this past June mm -hmm. at the St. Louis Pen Show, but uh, you know with COVID and all that got canceled, and we decided to hold off on that pen until this year. Makes sense. Okay. It definitely makes sense. So, and Grifos, you know, Grifos is out of Italy, but the U.S. representative is here in St. Louis. And so that's why it's, we're holding off until June for the St. Louis show, because it's a perfect. pretty big deal for, for them, too. Perfect release and, day, too. Yeah. Release yeah. So, St. so Louis. Those are, um, those are three. Now, there's a fourth pen that is in the works, <laughs> which is the Snowy Owl. And that one is a uh, collaboration between us and ourselves. <laughs> nice. No better, no better partner to team up with than yourself. Yeah, but we, we just felt like one of our pens should be uh, Birds of the World also. Absolutely. And uh, that, one, that one's going to be pretty exciting. Cool. Hey, well, we can't wait. You know, we'll be sure to uh, do some live videos once your product comes out. So definitely a series to keep an eye out for. Uh, real quick, Jim, I do want to show – the other uh, two Birds of the World models that you have out currently, we still have stock on these. Um, somebody's asking, are we getting five of each bird? Yes, we will carry a limited portion of each bird when they are released. Uh, right now, we do have the blue naped tanager. Yeah. Just beautiful. This is coming out so much nicer. Your pictures are looking much better than mine. Listen, man, hours and hours of phone calls with Apple and at and T. I'm not joking. <laughs> I think this is just a, a super new model. I, this is my brother's phone. I usually carry, like, the iPhone 6 or whatever I have, so I'm in the, the ice age in terms of technology. 
It's crazy. So that one's beautiful right there. That is the yeah. blue nade tanager. This so can I say a little bit about that real quick? Sure, absolutely. So just the blue nade tanager is our collaboration with Sean Newton of Newton Pets. Okay. This was our first bird's release. And it's actually made of ebonite. This is ebonite that we got from Nico in Japan. Um, so, I mean, those colors for ebonite are just astounding, right? It's a wonderful pen. So if you like that ebonite feel or that ebonite smell after you've been using it for a bit, this is the pen for you. <laughs> agreed, agreed. And uh, as of right now, <clears throat> excuse me. As of right now, Jim, all of your, your Birds of the World models, you're capping them at 20, right? 20 Correct. Minutes. Yep, that, that's uh, our plan forever. We will never go beyond 20 of uh, a pen in the Birds of the World series. So it's one of those things where if you miss out, you miss out, unfortunately. So that's why we encourage that you deeply consider getting one. So, so that one that you're holding up is the, uh, the Bluebird, and it's our collaboration with Dan Simons. Now, Dan is a fantastic pen maker. He's been in the industry for quite some time. Uh, he used to uh, help out Scott Franklin, and, um, you know, we were lucky enough to be able to work with him in creating the second Bird of the World pen with him. And that's the Eastern Bluebird. Yeah, that is so all of our um, all of our birds of the world pens are Bach number six nibs. Mm -hmm. um, I just noticed that you have the gold nib on that. That's an 18k plated nib. It's a skein, a steel nib, 18k plated. We do have available um, stainless steel nibs now too. Sure. Uh, we had a couple of people that did purchase the uh, bluebird that said they would have preferred a stainless steel nib to the gold because the clip is um, the clip is silver. So if somebody is to buy this and they get a gold gold nib and they'd like to exchange it, we have no issue. We will take care of that for you. Just contact us. Absolutely. Perfect. Uh, yeah, I think all the Bluebirds list at 225 uh, but today for the special event, you can go on atlasstationers.com and use coupon code BF15 for 15% off. It's our Black Friday coupon code. Uh, Jim, for the sake of time, if you're ready, let's actually do a trivia question. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. Perfect. Perfect. So I got to get my trivia sheet. <laughs> excellent. So for those of you who have watched our previous videos, we are notorious for hosting Instagram Live Trivia. We give away tons and tons of items, pens, gift cards, notebooks, leather goods, whatever it may be. But this is the first trivia session we are going to do for virtual takeovers this winter. So, Jim, it's an honor to have you be the first person to ask. So let me just run through the questions real quick. We do have, I think, five total questions. We're going to split them up across the entire video. So we'll do one right now, one in 10 minutes, 20 minutes at the end of the video, et cetera. So how this will work is Jim is going to ask the questions. You will submit the answers in the chat. Whoever submits the correct answer in the chat that pops up on my feed, it's got to be my feed, will win that respective prize. Now, for the first four prizes, I think we're giving out $25 Atlas gift cards. Is that correct, Jim? Yep, that's right. Perfect. We wanted to spread a little joy, give some people a little pocket money to be able to go shopping for Christmas. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> and, hey, you can even use the gift card on one of the new Chicago Pen Company pens. How wicked is yep. that? So, that would be great. Uh, yeah, we'll be using, uh, we'll be doing gift cards today for the first four, and then the fifth one will be a, a special grant prize. For the fifth one, you must live in the U.S. to win. Uh, the other prizes, we will reach out to you, get your contact information or shipping information uh, to email you the gift card or ship the grant prize. So please keep in mind, it's whoever pops up first on my feed, they will be the ones to win that trivia question. Jim, I'm going to limit it to one person. You can only win one gift card but then everyone can participate in the grand prize. So uh, you have an opportunity to win one of four Atlas gift cards for $25, and then you'll also be able to win the final prize. Uh, my feed, yes, the chat that's popping up that you're currently talking in, that is my feed. So I want to make sure it's abundantly clear. We all have different connections. It's whoever pops up on mine. Uh, Jim, I think we are ready. I, 
I'm so okay. bad at explaining the rules. I used to be able to do it so quick, as you remember, but I forgot my whole line. So. <laughs> Yeah, that's why we wanted to do it, make you think again. I know, I'm like, wait a minute, am I repeating myself? What's happening? Uh, real quick, folks, put an emoji in the chat so we know you are ready. Uh, once we see enough emojis, uh, if you can put a macaw, that'd be pretty cool. I think there's a macaw bird or there's a parrot emoji. So if you want to throw one of those in uh, to pay homage to the new pen, it'd be fantastic. But Jim, once we see enough, we'll go ahead and uh, give the trivia question. Again, this first one's going to be for a $25 Atlas gift card. Some exclusions may apply with the gift card. Just a heads up. There we go. We got one macaw. We got six macaws. Wow. Look at all this love, Jim. All right. I think I like we're it. ready. I like it. Okay, here we go. The first trivia question is, how does the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade end? Wow. A little off topic. <laughs> Yes, it is. <laughs> we love doing it that way. <laughs> yeah. So again, gonna, yeah, if you how to does the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade end? Should, should we? Uh, I I, I think I've, I've seen some answers going by that. <laughs> yeah. Is it? Are you going to accept Santa? Uh, I'll accept yes. Santa. Okay. Yes. Okay, yeah, so uh, with the arrival of Santa, so hello, Diamond Tattoo. You were the one to submit it first. Congratulations. That is the correct answer. You are a now proud owner of a $25 Atlas gift card. How exciting. <laughs> okay, perfect. I, uh, let me see I like the answer favorite. with drinks. <laughs> with the dance in the street with Santa, that was good in depth. We got an emoji with drinks. That's a very great answer. If uh, if Santa wasn't the correct answer, it'd be with drinks. That'd be what I'd go for. So. That's right. <laughs> perfect. All right, so that's the first $25 gift card giveaway. Um, Jim, let's move into your new release, the, the Lesher Italiano Artisan Series, if I pronounced that correctly. This is a big release that you guys have been working on, and we've got some that's things here, so... Yep. So uh, these you have at your store to show. I'm sorry, I don't have any available here right now. Yep, let me get them perfectly lined up real quick. You know, I'm all about that presentation. So and now, this goes back to, you know, the fact that, that we're fanboys and we love the, working with the artists. And, and so um, we started a new series. So we have our Birds of the World series to give you an overall umbrella and a common theme. This time, we're, what we're presenting is an artisan theory, series. Now, John Lesher, he's of Tailored Pen Company. He makes all of his pens by hand. And these, these are all, what's special about these pens is that they are made from vintage cellulose acetate. Now, this is a material that was sourced from a, a closed down uh, factory over in Europe. It's Italian material. And um, you won't find this material available anymore. So he, he's got a stock of this material, and he's creating these pens. Um, each of the material is, has a different name to it. The one that you're holding right now is the Verona, which is a black and red cellulose acetate. If, for those of you that have never held a cellulose acetate pen in your hand, <laughs> in your hands, it's a completely different feel to the resin that's available now. So uh, it, it's just, if I, it's hard to describe, but it's, it's like a, a, a soft, warm feeling material. It's just great to hold. Yeah, I agree. Also, yeah, I mean, <laughs> they're, they're, they're beautiful. So we have uh, five colors that are available there. And, um, that one is the is that the black and silver one? That's this, the Venice. This is black, oh, is silver, and red. Oh, the black, silver, and red. That one. That one is the uh, the Pantheon. And then black and silver is the Venice. The uh, the one in the middle there, which is orange and black, is Pompeii. If you hold that one up because it's got a little bit different of a design than the others. It, they're just they're just gorgeous pens. And so John was uh, gracious enough to allow us to use him as our inaugural pen artist to kick off 
this new series. <laughs> you know what's crazy that I just realized? This material is so smooth. You can only yes. see a reflection of the Lamy case right behind me. That's right. And, when you know, that, that uh, shows that. The, the amount of time that John takes in making his pens. You aren't going to find much better of a, a pen out there. That's these insane. Are, these are see, really spectacular. Yeah, you can see the whole display. You see that? Those lights right there? Yeah. I don't think I've ever really seen that before. Yeah. And so uh, John's pens use a, a, a Yovo number six nib. Um, yeah. You wanna... yeah. And they come in extra fine, fine, medium, and broad. So here's the deal with these. So we've got one of each color available right now on our website at Atlas Stationers. So more are coming, I think, middle of December. But if you wanted to lock in right now, we've got one of each available that we can ship out, you know, hopefully by today. Uh, Jim, what are these retailing for? So they're retailing for two fifty, and uh, you guys, I think, are giving a discount on them right now. Yep. So Black Friday coupon will get you fifteen percent off. Use code BF15 for fifteen percent off. This stuff's normally okay. never discounted. Correct. And the other thing is that with those five pens, each one will come with a, a leather pop off a pop off leather case from the Chicago Pen Company. Just as a, a special bonus. Can you can you show that real quick? I don't have one out. I saw one on yep. your table, if you don't mind. Here, here's the one to the left for whoever was asking. So for about like, I think the, the promotion brings them down to like $210. You get a custom made pen and a leather pen sleeve. I mean, that's a really nice deal. Yep. Really nice deal. If anybody would like to see something up close or, you know, if you want me to go back, just let us know in the comments. This one right here, this silver, red, and black, and then the orange one are, are my favorites. This is just yeah. such a nice color. <laughs> you know, look at that. Um, I didn't realize it until just now that it's it's really close to, like, one of our, one of our, uh, our custom pen – Colors. <laughs> oh, it sure is. Yeah, the material, yeah, or the, the colors. Yeah. The red, black, silver. Yeah. The difference is that's cellulose acetate, and it really is just phenomenal. I mean, it is just positive. I can't say enough about it. You know, we, uh, we just started making pens with that um, recently. Uh, we had a custom order, and... Um, and so we made one and shipped it out, and the, the person, it's like, they, it won't leave their hand. But when we, when, we, when we got finished with it and we felt that material, it was just amazing. And so we, uh, we went right up. We, we ordered some other cellulose acetate material so that we could do some more. Good, good. I mean, I don't want to put it down. I'm not going to lie. It's just it's yeah. good in the hand. So, uh, Jim, let me do one more showing of these. Uh, is there anything else you want to say real quick about them before we move on? So I, I think that I, I just like to say a little bit more about John. Sure. Um, you know, he, John started out as a, a woodworker and um, moved into making pens. Um, he's located in Kentucky. They're all made here in the United States uh, by hand, by him. Uh, he takes pride with everything that he does. And I think that you can tell when you, when you see the pen. Um, it's work that is just, it, it's phenomenal work. And uh, I can't say enough good things about John. He's Absolutely. always out there looking for different materials to use, some rare materials like this. Uh, you know, he does uh, special orders and custom designs. So, you know, even if you're not getting one of these, you can reach out to him and get some, some custom stuff done for yourself if you'd like to. Absolutely. Hey, if you're listening right now, I hope our, our paths cross eventually. So one day maybe I'll make it out to Kentucky or – vice versa you're in chicago so great stuff uh yeah i think i think there was a comment that they're ebonite grip sections oh yes that's right i'm sorry i, I skipped that and that is really important to know <laughs> yeah it does feel really nice i'm not a lefty so i'm not too sure if i'm holding the pen correctly but 
<laughs> <laughs> is there a right way and a wrong way? <laughs> yeah, honestly, there isn't. So great point. Excellent, excellent. Well, uh, really great stuff here. Again, we have one of each color here in stock right now that we would hopefully be able to ship out today. Uh, however, once one of them are gone or, you know, the models are gone, the restock will be hopefully mid-December. So keep that right. in mind. Uh, Jim, I know you also had a special offering where if somebody wanted to buy all five of them, we'd offer it at a grant, correct? That's correct. Uh, like, buy all five of them right now and you can have them for a grant. Perfect. And that saves that's you a, even that's more a, money. That's a killer deal. Yeah. <laughs> No doubt about it. So, uh, you know, shoot us a direct message or just visit atlasstationers.com and you'll be able to see the listing, okay? Uh, Jim, question number two for trivia. You ready? Yep. Let me grab my right. paper again. <laughs> Perfect. Hey, uh, the chat, you know what to do. Throw an emoji in the chat so we know you're ready. We're going to give out another $25 Atlas gift card. Who's excited? Yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited too. Honestly, it feels good receiving prizes, but it feels even better giving them away. I'm not going to lie. It does, right? And, you know, it's the holiday season. Exactly. <laughs> we got to have some fun with this, right? I'd love it. 2020 has sucked. It does suck. And I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's been pretty crummy out in Chicago. That's why I didn't say nice weather here. I usually say at the start of all my videos, like, oh, it's a nice day. And it'll be like 30 degrees yeah. out. Well, it's, it's pouring, and it looks pretty bad out, so I couldn't say it today. Yeah, it's crappy. <laughs> From the day is like how I will remember 2020. It's just like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this weather. So, all right, perfect. Okay. Uh, question number two for a $25 gift card. Uh, if you already won one, you cannot participate again until the final prize. So, Jim, let's go. What do we got? Okay, here we go. This is a tough one. What are turkey chicks called? <laughs> <laughs> that might be the most uh, interesting trivia question ever asked on the channel. <laughs> so what are turkey chicks called? Wow. What do you, what do you call those little turkey chicks running around? <laughs> Is the answer turkey chicks? <laughs> There's a ton of snow here in Northern Ontario, wow. What are turkey chicks called? <laughs> I, I think we got the correct answer, but I don't know if it's misspelled. Do you want to accept it? I don't know. I didn't see it. Hold on. Let, 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 me, see, let me see what the spelling is. I think we have oh. to award, award proper spelling. Yeah, P-O-U-L-T. I've got... Yeah. I've got J.R. Huffton. Jennifer, that's you. We're, we're going to give it to you. So $25 Atlas gift card. Uh, it is a pult. A pult was the answer we are looking for. First yep. time I've ever pronounced that word, ever. <laughs> yes, so, <laughs> I know. <laughs> you can also call them turkey links, okay? <laughs> turkey links. That, that's a little more, uh, you know, a little more suiting. I, I know that type of lingo. All right. So we are going to give that to Jennifer. Congratulations. Perfect. Buffalo Every know, everybody knows that buffalo wings are made out of out of buffalo, not turkey. Yes. I can't even believe somebody <laughs> would contest that and question that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Perfect. So uh, moving forward. So that's going to take care of basically the, the big new releases from the Chicago Pen Company, from Jim and AJ. So again, all the information is found on our website, atlasstationers.com or the Chicago Pen Company .com. Uh, please refer back to this video if you want to see the close-ups again. Uh, but we really hope you guys take advantage and, uh, you know, take a look at, at these products. Jim, let's move into some older models. Uh, I know we still got about 20 minutes left, so we can actually showcase some of the kingpins. And then we'll do a trivia question, and then we'll do the, the Shebas. Okay. The kingpins. Oh. So these, I, I just moved, I had moved one. These are our kingpins. We have, uh, we actually have a tray and a, a few others in with the Shebas. Um, try to get some more light on these. The, as we said, the kingpin design, we, we made this because people were asking for a little bit larger of a pen. And um, the ones that I'm showing right now, what's really special about these is the material. These first three are Omas material, vintage Omas material. And uh, so that's, that's an Italian material you can't get anymore. Um, we sourced some of that. 
And we, the, uh, this one in particular, this is the, the silver. We, when we first started doing pens, our Shiba was made in this, our, our prototype Shiba. And at the show, people kept asking to buy it and we couldn't sell it to them <laughs> because it was our prototype. <laughs> The funny thing is, we've not made a Shiba out of that since, but we did select it to make a kingpin out of. So, uh, so that's what that's that's about. Those first three. The next one, this this material is really really cool. Um, it's 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 an aeronoid. It's called. Uh, oh gee, AJ always tells me. <laughs> AJ, AJ is yeah. the name it's, guru. Yeah, it's it's veined jet is the name of this material, and the, the camera's just not picking it up very well. But it's um, let me try and put it down here. <clears throat> they do post, by the way, for whoever was asking. Yeah. So I believe that the the so someone asked about the price. The price on these is two and a quarter. Um, we had some specials running on our. Our pens, uh, probably a few weeks back. Right now, there is not a special. <laughs> um, maybe in the near future, but I'm not making any promises at this point because uh, they're, they're going pretty fast. It's custom pens, so you know it's yeah. tough. Um, so this one, this one here is the uh, is our release material for the kingpin. I I picked it up before. It's black, red, and silver. That is real pretty, man. My goodness. Yeah, this one's actually showing up really well. The nibs on our pens are all uh, Bach number six nibs. And uh, you can either have it in uh, stainless steel or in, uh, stainless steel 18K plated. This is that, the blue Omas. Yeah, I think I found the sweet spot for showing the pens. You got the light hitting it just right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is a, right there. Look at that. This is a Conway Stewart Bracken material. Conway, so that, that's vintage, correct? That's vintage material. This is a vintage material. Um, now I've I've lost that special spot. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So we we've got you know three other or a few other Conway Stewarts. This is a Blue Azure, I believe. And a lot of these pens are not on our website. Um, if you're interested in them, DM us. As a matter of fact, if you DM us about one of these pens today, uh, we'll sell it to you for one ninety five. We'll give you a thirty dollar discount. <laughs> yeah, we've got all the ones in stock here at Atlas on our website. So these are available. We've got, I think, only five left. We used to have a whole lot more, but they do go quick. Right, I know you guys have been selling selling them through pretty good. Yeah, just for some comparisons in size, this is the Kingpin. This is a Pelican M1000. This is a Pelican M805. So pretty similar to the 1000 when it's closed. But, Jim, we all know once we cap that sucker, we post it, this becomes what, – what did we say? The Javelin? Or what was it? The yes. Was it the Joust. The joust. <laughs> yeah, but for, for jousting, yeah. The, the Knights uh, – yeah, the – <laughs> the awesome. thing is so, so big. I think the only thing that might be bigger is the uh, Bennu tattoo pens. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is this is a a big pen. That's for sure a king pen right here. Yes. Look at that. So let me just show which colors I have real quickly. Just beautiful. That's a mystic green. It's um. That's a the material is actually called kyanite. They use that material to make uh, the handles on guns or, or knife knife handles. Uh, there's a, a term for it. Sure. Real quick, they are uh, your Bach nibs, correct? They are Bach nibs. The dimensions on the nib section, if I remember, um, the pinch I think is around 12 millimeters. And the uh, where it meets the barrel is about 14 millimeters. And then down towards the tip is between those two. I think I, I want to say that it's I want to say that it's 12 and a half, but I, I don't remember off the top of my head. I'm sorry. 
Come on, man. How do you not know every number in the world? <laughs> <laughs> well, it is our pen. I should know those off the top of my head. <laughs> oh, well, that one that you're holding. Let's first, see. You know? Yeah. Uh, could you show me the other red one also, please? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so that red one in your hand right now is um, an acrylic from the UK. And then the other one that you were holding up uh, is actually a Kieranite, red uh, Rojas Kieranite. Yeah, that's pretty slick, ain't it? Yes. Perfect. So, yeah, these are running for $2.25. Uh, we have that Black Friday coupon going right now. I know Jim made us a kind offering on their website, so make sure you check both of them. Uh, we have different finishes on each of our websites, so, you know, get which one fits you best. So uh, for the sake of time, Jim, unless you have anything else to say about the Kingpins, I think we got to do another trivia question. Yes, we do. All right. Lucky number three on the day. Folks, put an emoji in the chat. Let us know you are ready. Uh, the new <laughs> units are all Bach. You can do extra fine, fine, medium, or broad. We can make the substitution on site for you. Uh, I don't know the dimensions of the Pelican uh, M1000 off the top of my head, by the way, for whoever was asking. We'll want those. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, we're waiting for the emojis in the chat. We've got trivia question number three for another $25 Atlas gift card. Jim, I want you to know how special this day was for me. I don't know if you saw from yesterday when I saw you in person, but I got a haircut specifically for the event. Just for nice. you, man. Yeah, just for yeah, you. Yeah, it looks good. I got to tell you. Yeah, I, I was at my barber this morning at like 6 in the morning, and I was like, you know what? I told him I got to get a haircut for the boys at the Chicago Pen Company. So <laughs> big shout out to Wayne at, at Gabby's Barbershop here in Chicago. He always does a fantastic job. Very nice. You know, I just want you to know that uh, I forgot to shave this morning. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the camera hasn't been on you too much today, huh? What the heck? That's right. <laughs> you know, <laughs> with this this whole isolation thing, it's just like, oh, you know, <laughs> what I usually do every day, I don't anymore. Now, it's, now, it's now a, is the time not to shave. I mean, who cares, yeah. right? We're not doing anything it, crazy. So, it took a lot for me to get out of my jammies, you know? Good. So, I'm very honored that you got out of your sweatpants for me, even though I would have totally welcomed it. Um, <laughs> I, I think the chat's ready. So if, if you're all set, Jim, what is question number three for a $25 Atlas gift card? Keep in mind, if you already won one today, you cannot win a gift card again. Okay, here we go. What is the fleshy protrusion above the bill of a turkey call? <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is crazy. <laughs> what is the fleshy protrusion above the bill of a turkey call? Not going to lie, it would have been pretty sick if I had a live turkey here at the store. <laughs> I was thinking about getting a macaw for the release of the macaw pen. Just have it on my cool. shoulder, you know, put a patch over one eye. You'd have to train them pretty well. Uh, yeah. Real quick, so we got a few funny answers. A waddle, that's incorrect. A goozle, that's incorrect. However, Keith Lewis coming in hot with snood, another word I've never said before in my entire life, but that is the correct answer. We were looking for a snood. <laughs> that's right. Oh, my goodness. I wonder, that's hilarious. I wonder right. if Pultz had snoods. <laughs> This has been by far the most intriguing trivia we've ever had on the show. So that is fantastic. I like Hello Diamond, Hello Diamond Tattoo's answer of gross. gross. <laughs> it's too bad that you already won the first gift card. Otherwise, we would have had to accept that because that is correct. <laughs> All right, Jim, you know what? Uh, let's actually do the fourth one. Uh, Chad, are you ready? Everybody watching, are you ready I to go for the fourth gift card? Uh, and then, Jim, yeah, we'll let's do it. Buzz, and then we'll, we'll do the grand prize at the end. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, uh, let's wait. Actually, let's give them all a chance to settle down from the snood research. Because I was imagine <laughs> the browser is now looking at images of snoods. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let, let's let's wait. So while we're while we're waiting, you know, I just I, I'll I point out this other uh, set of pens that we have. These are um, these are actually the Shiba model. But what, what's special about these pens is that they're charity pens, okay? And 100% of the price that you pay goes to 
the Sarcoma Foundation of America. So um, they're, uh, they're green, gold, and white are the colors. Beautiful, man. And I like the variation. They're all completely different, just stunning. So. Yeah. And, and that material is a custom material made just for us. Perfect. So you won't find that material on any other pen. The maker has assured us that nobody else will ever get it. That's awesome. One of a kind. And, you know, I know that's exclusive to you guys and truly an awesome, awesome pen. So uh, check it out, you guys. Jim, I don't know how many more you have left, but I have to imagine those will go pretty quickly. So, Yeah, they are $225. And we never discount those because we, we want to give the full amount to the charity. Absolutely. Perfect. Uh, Jim, you know, we're crunching on time. I, I hate to yep. keep moving things along. Let's, but let's, let's get going. Yeah, let's jump let's to the get. fourth question. I, I'm very interested to hear what this question could possibly be about <laughs> <laughs> so here we go what is the name of the horse in the song jingle bells <laughs> <laughs> what the heck man what the heck is going on <laughs> right. what is the name of the horse in the song jingle bells we're gonna have everybody singing this all day <laughs> I've probably already heard it like six times on our radio playing at the store. We flipped on the holiday music, so we're in the spirit. And I got my holiday season mask. <laughs> it's a nice mask. I like it. <laughs> 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 the wrong, wrong song. <laughs> uh, Bobtail. Holy smokes. Pens and Prezza. Nice job. That was wicked. Pens and Prezza, is that who you saw? Yes, sir. That's who I Perfect. put down as the uh, the first person to submit Bobtail. So congratulations. That is correct. So that's going to do it for the four gift cards. We're going to show some of the Shebas here from the Chicago Pen Company, and then we'll do one grand prize giveaway, and then we will uh, let you all browse the website and see what you can pick out for yourselves. Uh, Jim, what do we got? What's up with the Shebas? I know we just talked about the Sarcoma one, but uh, yep. what else we've got going on with these? So, uh, whoa, I'm losing my lights here. Um, so this, this one, what I did is uh, on this rack, we have both Shebas and Kingpins. These are sets, match sets. So we have our release edition um, for the, the Sheba release edition color, which is a bronze and a blue. And then the other two that are shown here are Omas materials, uh, turquoise bologna swirl and uh, maroon. Uh, burgundy, burgundy below this world. Beautiful. And then over here, um, we have, again, these are Omas materials. The pink and the white are Omas. It's, um, um, the, the, the white one is called Malai, Ivory Maladi, Maladi, Maladi Ivory. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm butchering the name. <laughs> hey, well, just sound confident when saying it because I wouldn't have known you said it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And the only other one that we have is uh, that is a, a Conway Stewart material. Uh, I believe it's called Shingle. Nice. So that's what we have. Sweet. That is a sweet one. Uh, Jim, let me show what we've got here. I know we've got a few of them from your collection. Look at that. This is the cocktail. Oh, that's the cocktail ice. That's a... Uh, that's an acrylic out of the UK. Um, I think they have a line of them, but but that one's called Cocktail Ice. Just beautiful. Yes. Perfect. I'm gonna quickly go through these. Sorry, Jim. We just we're having such a great time. You know, it's funny. I was telling you. You know, we got to keep it to an hour, but I knew we would have no problem going <laughs> past an hour of content. So it's always a blast <laughs> doing this with you guys. Thank you. So we've got some more right here. Yep. That one, I think, is a Strawberry Pearl Kieranite. Isn't that, that's a, uh, it's kind of an orangish, orangish red, correct? Uh, it sure is, yep. Yep. Okay. And then the next one is um, uh, Mystic, Mystic Purple, I believe. It's an acrylic. And that is a sky blue pearl. This one's beautiful. Man. That's a Kieranite. Yes. We really, we really enjoy uh, 
working with the Cure Knight, it polishes up great. It's a nice sturdy pen. Um, you know, I have dropped a couple of them and they didn't break. <laughs> That's how you know. That's how yeah. you know. It's, it's, it's gym proof. <laughs> You're right. That one is, um, I believe that one's espresso pearl or hot tan pearl. I it's hard it's hot, for me. To... I think it's hot tan pearl. Hot tan pearl? Okay. AKA coffee. I'm addicted yeah. to coffee. This would be my coffee pen. I would use this pen every morning with my cup of Joey. I agree. I agree. That is just nice. Okay. And then uh, mm -hmm. I'm saving what I think is the coolest one for last. Oh, the one that you dropped. That one is. Back. Yeah. What is this? Kieran, I, it's, it's venom pearl. And depending on how the light hits it, it looks black and green. And it's got a little bit of, of depth and sparkle to it. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. Man, I got to get your lighting. That is great. LEDs, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I have. <laughs> and what's that last one? This is the oh, coolest one we've got. Okay, guys. Th this is your chance. This is a Brooks material, Carolina Pen Company's material. That is um, blue abalone. And that material is beautiful. And, and I'll tell you what. Uh, that, People, people are just going crazy over the Abalone series by Brooks. So if you're looking for a Brooks material uh, in a really nice pen, this is your, your chance to pick one up. One of one. <laughs> yeah. The only one we've got here. I mean, just look at that. So Yeah, I, these, I can't say enough ones. about the, the Brooks material is just beautiful. Absolutely. Yeah, I know, uh, Jim, the ones we have here in store, we have on our website. I'm sure that you have the ones you have on your website. So yep. I just wanted to make that clear. Uh, if anybody has any questions, we've got about two minutes. So maybe okay. now. Uh, but Jim, let's let's showcase what we're going to give away for the, the finale. Oh, right. Yes, do that. Showcase it. <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to showcase it. Wait a minute. I'm supposed to showcase it because my box, wherever yep. I put it, is currently closed. Okay, here we go. I'm going to try and do this one-handed. <laughs> what I have here is a Field Notes Pony Express pouch. Wow. Okay. And hold on one second. I didn't, I didn't think this out, did I? <laughs> there we go. This is what it looks like. This is to hold your field notes. Oh, and it comes, it also, it comes with three, three notebooks with it. Such a nice set. So this is to protect your field notes when you're out in the field, riding your horse, delivering mail. There you go. Riding your stallion. <laughs> yep. Perfect. Perfect. Um, so on this prize, everyone can participate. However, you must live in the U.S. to win this. We will ship it out to you at no cost. This does retail at about $90, so it is the grand prize for today. Jim, we're really crunching it, so uh, if you don't mind, let's just ask the question, and we'll have to call it a day. Okay, here we go. Question number five. What city in the Netherlands celebrates American Thanksgiving? Boom. Easiest question of the day. So That's right. <laughs> What city in the Netherlands celebrates American Thanksgiving? <laughs> wow, the chat's slow on this one. Nope. Well, not the answer we're looking for. We have a specific answer. Boom. I see it, Jim. Uh, how do you I see it. it? Leiden? Leiden, that's correct. It is Leiden. I've got the pilgrims there. actually stopped off in Leiden before they came to America. They lived there for about 11 years. Wow. Well, I've got Patricia Nordine who got it correctly, so congratulations. Yep. Um, Jim, I'm so sorry, but, yeah, we, we do have to get going here. Uh, is there anything you'd like to say before we sign off? I want to say thank you to you guys for hosting us. We really appreciate it. I want to thank uh, Jim Hines and John Lesher for the amazing work that they do on their pens and allowing us to collaborate with them. I want to say thank you to all our customers, all of your customers, everybody that listened and, and made this a really fun event. 
we enjoy having them. We like seeing the feedback from the people. I also want everybody to know that all of our pens come with a 100% guarantee. If you get one and you don't like it for any reason, let us know. We'll make it right one way or another. So, you know, feel confident in buying. Absolutely. Absolutely. I can vouch for that, too. You know, you guys are such a pleasure to work with. Uh, it's nice to know the actual designers behind the product, and it makes it just more personal and more trustworthy. Uh, so, Jim, thank you so much. Give our best to AJ. Let him know we yes. said what's up, and uh, we'll see you yep. soon, okay? Yep, you take care. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you soon. See you, Jim. All right, folks, thank you so much. This has been a lot of fun. Uh, keep in mind, we do have a whole December schedule full of virtual takeovers. It's posted on our website and our Instagram. Please take advantage of our Black Friday coupon on our website. Use BF15 for 15% off your entire order. Some exclusions may apply. Uh, you can use it on all of the product that you saw today for a limited time. These are mostly one-offs, so if you want to pull the trigger on one of these, you have to do it like now. But thank you so much for putting up with me for another hour. We'll see you next time. Stay smooth. Peace. And happy holidays to all of you as well. I'm sure you'll see me on the internet here and there, but stay safe and happy.